tonight on the ice. Hi, everybody. Welcome back to EA Sports. I'm James Cebulski. This should be fun. And we are about set to drop the puck on this one. The Panthers win the opening faceoff, and we are underway with this one. Puts it on net. Oh, just goes off his club, and it stays out. Slick feed. Nothing. Sometimes when you have the puck on your stick in a primetime scoring area, it's not about threading the needle. And when you try and thread it, sometimes you miss. And that's what happened there. Nearing the midway mark of the period. The game is still scoreless. Back underway as he wins the draw inside the offensive zone. Hanson the call there. Slap shot from the point. Too high. Sometimes when you're on the point, you can have a little more time than you think. And that's what I thought happens here as he just gets up and under the puck and it goes over the net. The setters will glide into the dot. Puck is dropped and he wins the draw here in the defensive zone. Grabs the puck. Let's it fly from the point. Great save by the goaltender to get a pat on that one. Keeping the puck out of the net. Here's a shot. And he comes up big with the stick save. Getting all of it with the paddle. The Avs played along the boards. Moves behind the net. From the back of the cage with the puck. Here's a blast. Oh, that just goes wide. Sometimes when you're trying to get the puck off from a distance, it gets pushed off. So that was a beauty. That's a really tough defensive zone turnover. Now everyone's caught out of position trying to cover, except for the shooter, of course, who has all the time in the world to put it to opt-ins. The Avs have put themselves in the enviable position of playing with the lead, Cheryl. Uh, you always rather be ahead when you it's the best place to be, but you want to extend that lead. And you want to have a, an ability to play a little more comfortable, James. You got to stay aggressive, you got to manage the puck, and you got to look to attack the net. It looks like he's playing with a little more confidence tonight, and he's looking for his first NHL goal. He's possessing the puck and he's driving lanes. He's bound to get one. Covers it up, and we'll get a stoppage in play. There's the end of period number one. Both teams will grab a quick breather. You can grab a hot dog and we'll be back. <sighs> Opening face off for period number two. About set to go. Second frame is underway as the puck is dropped. Well, we've seen a pretty good sample size already played thus far. Cheryl, your assessment. The Panthers are trailing in this game because they had a sloppy opening frame, James. Coach won't like it. You have to manage the puck and make good decisions if you want to be rewarded. Well, the coach isn't going to be happy with this penalty. You have a one-goal lead, and now you find yourself back on your heels, and the penalty kill has to come out and do a job. Yeah, guys, this power play is ranked top 10 in the league. And if they just get a couple good looks, they can truly capitalize on this. Let's see what happens in their first one of the game here. Takes the puck as the clock ticks down on the penalty kill. Along the half wall with the puck. Oh, they telegraph the pass, and he picks it off. Penalty expires with the one goal lead still intact. Nice job by the penalty killers. Well, often in hockey, we say timing is everything. And when you're down by a goal and you have an opportunity on the power play, you have to cash in. And the whole bench knows that that was a missed opportunity. And that's poked away. Along the right side into the offensive zone. Here's a shot. Oh, he made the save. How did he stop it? I have no idea, James. I mean, he was down and out. But profound athleticism and desperation got him back in to make it. Good hit to pump him off the puck. The Avs take possession in the neutral zone. Takes the puck at the point. Takes the puck. Oh, and there's a great save by Burden. He carries the puck up along the wing. Takes a shot. Big time stop. 
Well, he's got real quick hands, and he doesn't need much time or space to get that shot off. He's known for finding the back of the net from that area. But the save is made, and he's turned aside. Play set to resume with the face-off ready to go. Maltzett's won the face-off here in the offensive zone. Denied by the goaltender. Verdon's been so consistent throughout tonight's game, and I mean, he's made timely saves as well. A lot of shots that he's faced, and his save percentage is an indicator of it. Scooped up along the wall by Tissimo. Stop that one. Takes the feed at the point. Penalty coming up. Through center along the wing. Moves it to the middle, and he shuts down a great scoring chance there. Whistle blows, stopping the play. But with a one goal lead, there's a small margin of error, James, and to protect it, you can't be in the box. Now they're shorthanded, and they gotta find a way to kill it off. As we're about to drop the puck, the power play unit back out onto the ice for another opportunity. Well, they earned this a power play, James, through hard work, and it's an opportunity to even the score here. They need to find a way to execute and get back to the even score. Puck slid down the ice. And he takes the dish. And that goes off a player in front. Handles the pass. Oh, these home fans have had enough. They're wondering when a call's going the opposite way here, Cheryl. You can hear the frustration right now with that third call in a row, I might add, James. I mean, this is a one-sided game, isn't it? Unbelievable. Ebert's greatest asset is that long breakout pass that he likes to use to transition his team onto the attack, guys. We call that his send-it zone ability, and it's something to watch out for in this game. But the glove save. Such an impressive save, James. And I love to look at these ones again because it's not just being in great position, it's being desperate. It's finding a way to get to the puck, keeping your eye on it at all times, tracking it, out battling and out willing everyone around you. Well, a huge face-off coming up here. Well, you know that you want to gain possession and you want to keep the pressure on because the goaltender is the only one who can't change, and he is the most fatigued guy on the ice. So you want to find ways to get some net front presence, get shots through the net, because, man, he needs a rest. And he makes the save on that play. To be great, you have to get uncomfortable as we look at this last save. This looks uncomfortable. Stretching your body, finding a way to make yourself as big as possible to get to the save. That's what he did, and that's why the save was made. They'll get set to drop the puck as this power play continues. And they win the draw in the offensive zone, and they go to work. because they were competing and they were urgent on the puck, James, and then the same th approach came on the power play where they knew how to hound it and retrieve it, and guess what? They're rewarded for their efforts. Well, this is just a perfectly executed shot, James, as he drops into his butterfly position. He's trying to make himself as big as possible and get his blocker on it. He just can't catch up to it. The Panthers have been pressing, and they finally get rewarded for that goal. They get rewarded, and now they can't sit back. They have to continue to attack and look to go ahead. And off the draw at center, they take control of the puck. And we are still tied after an excellent kill by the shorthanded unit. Well, I really like this PK unit, James. Just working in sync. Oh, and we take a drive to Clutch City as they take the lead. Well, the lead is in their hands, and now it's about building off of that. Good shift management, dictating pace, controlling the offensive zone. Everything now, it's on the line.
The Panthers have persevered. They've weathered the storm. And look at this. They now lead here late in the second. Uh, this should give them a real jolt here, James. And they'll head into the intermission with the lead. And this is really important that they feed off of that energy. And they come out in the third flying. Makes a move in front. How did he stop that one? Well, that shot came quick. And it was right out front. He had to be sharp. He had to be right on it and show his brilliant reflexes. up the play. The Avs have been picking off passes left, right, and center. You know the coach is going to like this, but it has to transition to offense because this game's awfully close. Fans are buzzing. Teams are gliding into position here for the start of the third. And with the puck being dropped, here we go. The clock is running here on period number three. Well, two periods down. Here we go with the third period. Cheryl, your assessment so far? The Avs haven't had any possession time, James, and as a result, they haven't created any offense. Their opponent has really taken it to them, really worn them down, put them on their heels, and then spend a lot of time in their own zone. Oh, and somehow he gets a sliver of it and keeps it at bay. And the traffic neutralizes that threat. Goaltender covers it up. We get a whistle to slow things down. The Panthers lead this one early in the third period. They have been the more aggressive team offensively with the lead in the shot department. Back underway, and they take possession here inside the offensive zone. Takes a shot. Scores! And that's three unanswered goals. And as my mom likes to say, they're cooking with gas. <laughs> they're cooking with gas. And you can expect that they have put their opponents on their heels. This is a team that knows that they have worn their opponent down. Now they got to keep the pedal to the metal. It's amazing and an emotional charge and what it can do for your team in particular when someone who scores it does the dirty work. They work hard. They're courageous in their play and they exhibit the intangible. The Panthers are showing no signs of slowing down tonight. No, they're not. And I don't know what was said in that intermission, but they came out on fire. Their first five strides, the way they were right with their possession, their dominant play all over the ice. They've been outstanding. Along the wing, up the neutral zone. Lots of time left in this period. The Panthers have recently taken a two-goal lead. They'd love to build on it. And as the puck is dropped, they win the draw here inside the defensive zone. And a delayed penalty coming up as he got tripped up. Let's get the official decision. Ebert's called for tripping. He's off to the box. I love the 1 3 1 set on the power play unit they used earlier. Listen, they had success, they scored, but there's so many variations off of it. I love the bumper position that can act as a decoy, allow the puck to get through to create those seams and open up those shot attack lanes. And just got a piece of it to keep it out. Trying to come up with a huge defensive play to get this puck out of his own end. Bracco's got it against the board. Carries it across the line. Looking to make something happen along the boards. He's off! And he gets in front of that one-timer. Takes that pass back at the point. Lets it fly! And makes a save. We'll get a face-off after the puck stays covered up. They'll want to clear the zone here while they're trying to kill off this penalty. Back to the blue line. What a save! He'll probably feel that one tomorrow. And the power play scores! Well, that's number two, Pounder. Yeah, he's been all over the puck tonight. He's feeling it. He's confident. You gotta believe he's gotta be looking for the hattie. After an egregious defensive zone turnover, everyone is scrambling, including the goaltender who can't get back to set position. He looks so frustrated that this puck goes in the net. He didn't stand a chance.
The Panthers are sending a clear message that they are not taking their foot off the gas in this third period here, Cheryl. Well, you can certainly tell that they bought into the game plan, and the coach is certainly ecstatic with the performance of the entire bench. I mean, look at the way they're moving and holding the puck, attacking the net at the right times. It has been a seamless effort. Puck scooped up by Volkov. Fires it on net. Gets a piece of it and will play on. Denies him again. And he's taken down the official's arm, signaling for a penalty. Hangs on to the puck after taking a hit. And with the delay penalty called, they get the extra attacker out here on the ice. Let's see the call here. These are typically easy calls for officials to make as the opponent goes falling to the ice at the hands of your stick. Tough one to take. Our first opportunity to look at the power play unit set to go to work. Well, they're trailing, and this entire bench knows who's going out there on the power play. That's right, it's the top power play unit. Who better to invigorate this group than them? It's required to be calm and poised. He's got quiet feet, but when he needs to move and make a desperation play, he does it. Takes the feed. And he's tripped up on the play. Referee's hand goes up here. Play is stopped, and here's the official call. Anytime you lose position on your opponent, this can happen. He gets the sticks out in the feet of his opponent, and guess what? He gets the tripping call. And with the call, it's a huge opportunity for the power play, a five on three. On a five on three with all that ice available and the defensive coverage in the middle of the ice, you have to find a way to pull them outside just a little bit. Sometimes a shot does that. What it does, they react to the shot and the rebound. Guess what? Open lanes. No, you're not going to get away with that one right in front of the official. Delayed penalty coming up. It's a tripping, it looks like. Well, you can see the pent-up frustration. That's the second penalty of the period. Now he's put his team in a compromised position. Not to mention he's affected their rhythm. Face off, and it's a five-on-three man advantage, but they don't have much time to work with it. Well, a short five on three here, but you still have a time to strike. Not even once, but possibly twice. You gotta get it on your stick, drive it through the net. That's why you want players with active sticks on your PK, James. They can close quickly and they can... Wait a second, James. I believe there's gonna be a call right there. An infraction happens. Here's a shot! Play with the dead penalty coming up. Once the stick engages at the lower half of the leg or within the skates, you know it's gonna be a tripping call. What an opportunity here for the man advantage unit. It's a five on three with plenty of time to work. Five on three, you know your opponent has big bodies with long sticks in the middle of the ice. You have to find a way to move them. How do you do that? You either shoot the puck or you move it. Takes the feet at the back end. Off his stick, stops him cold. There's the whistle, we'll get a face off after the goalie covers up. Omsk's coming up next on the schedule and these two teams, doesn't matter where they are in the schedule, where they are in the standings, always a good contest. I'm looking forward to that. Well, he typically scores when he gets these opportunities. He is their emotional leader. He inspires this entire group. That was a huge save for the goaltender to make. Oh, the officials were all over that trip. Quick whistle stops the play. I'm surprised that the officials didn't put their whistles away in the dying seconds of this game, James. I mean, look at the scoreboard. It's been over for a while. Can they take advantage after winning that draw? Wow, what a stop by Burden! Oh, and a misfire as that goes right out of the zone. The Avs will play it in their own end. Shoot! Shot! Big save right at the end! Final horn is sounded, bringing this one to an end. 
Well, after this one, partner, can we call this a heater now? We can call it a heater. And anytime you're in the win column multiple games in a row, James, you know that everyone is feeling it. They're calling it a heater as well. Why? They're putting pucks in the net. No matter what they do, they're getting puck luck as well. Well, that brings the night to an end, and we will say goodbye here from rinkside from all of us here at EA Sports. My name is James Sabalski. I got to get to bed. See ya.